The High Court in Johannesburg it has sentenced Lakim Mudao to 25 years in prison, with five years suspended for the murder of his lover, Lebo Monene. The former Tembisa police officer fatally shot Monene in February last year at the parking lot of Tembisa Hospital. Linda Mnisi was in court, and he joins us now for a debrief. And Linda, in reading out his judgment, the judge mentioned that um, his condition, or rather or his disability, is a worse off punishment, which is self inflicted very little comfort for a family that has lost a mother, a sister, a friend. Indeed, very little comfort to do because you'll remember that they've always been calling for life imprisonment. In fact, what happened today in court was quite interesting because right at the beginning of the proceedings, there was a request that was made by the family through the prosecutor that they wanted him to stand up in court, to stand up so that they can be satisfied or so that they satisfy themselves that he cannot indeed walk and the judge denied that request because you'll remember there's been uh, experts who've come to testify in court about his uh, condition he's a c5 quadriplegic and that means basically he cannot move anything from his upper body right to his lower body so he can't move anything he can't move his hands he can't walk he can't stand up for himself he can literally can't do even the basic uh, you know self-care he can't even do that so um, you know the judge denied that request but also you'll remember this is after he spent three months at the Barakwanath hospital he was also taken to a rehabilitation center in Tswane where basically he was getting treatment and rehabilitated physically but it was then declared that at that point in fact his disability is permanent and there, there are no prospects of him getting better this is someone who you know tried to commit suicide after uh, you know shooting Lebu Munen and one of the aggravating uh, circumstances the judge pointed out today was the fact that the intention to kill Lebu Munen was there he fired six shots most of which were pointed to the head so the intention there was there but now as you look at it he can't even commit suicide because he can't even move his hands you know so now the burden is on his family who now have to look after him mm. and uh, you actually can bring us uh, what the judge said at that particular moment remind us of what he said before you take yeah. us to the bite when he was reading yeah. the judgment indeed the the judge had to consider a number of things, remember, because there were a number of submissions that were made by the state and by the defense on how to approach this, uh, you know, this sentence, because ultimately the prescribed minimum sentence for this was life imprisonment. But now they had to call witnesses who had to come in detail, basically, uh, why it is that there is no facility in South Africa mm -hmm. that can accommodate him. In fact, when one of the state witnesses came to testify about the prison facilities the judge was still not satisfied and he said that there are a number of facilities in South Africa so you basically would need to bring an authority from the uh, correctional services department who will give us more detail around the kind of facilities that you have and why it is that Mudau cannot be accommodated that of course was done and the court satisfied itself it had to look an, at a number of issues like you know house arrest because then he would ultimately have to report at a police station and those involved uh, you know the logistics of getting him to the police station it already takes an army to bring him uh, to court so what happens in that situation so it was a, a, a situation where the judge was like you know what basically what has happened now is that you sentence yourself it's even worse than the prescribed minimum sentence let's take a listen mr. Mudao having regard to all of the foregoing this court is of the view that the following is an appropriate sentence. You are sentenced to 25 years direct imprisonment. However, there is not a correctional facility in the country that will accept you. Further, you have, through your actions, in effect, sentenced yourself to lifelong imprisonment in the confines of a wheelchair and not as a paraplegic but as a quadriplegic being incapable of performing the most basic acts of human 
functioning. This is a punishment worse than the ultimate sentence of life imprisonment that this court could impose. Linda Mnisi, very quickly for us, because the judge also made it known that should he offend again, then things will change. What then happens if there's no facility in the country that can accommodate him? Well, that's a big question. What happens if he offends during those five years that, um, you know, he, he is given or his sentence is suspended. So, uh, you know, uh, correctional facilities would only be yeah. uh, the people that can answer that given, uh, you know, the kind of facilities they have. What can they do to accommodate someone like that? Thank you very much, Linda Mnisi, for that report.